A few years ago, Nissan was losing bundles of money and skeptics were predicting the company's demise. Then an aggressive plan by the company's new CEO resulted in a parade of successful vehicles like the new Nissan Altima sedan, the Moreno SUV and the Infiniti G35. And now Nissan is challenging the big players in the minivan market with a really big new minivan. That's right, it's big. It's the largest minivan in its class, the new Quest. It's actually 25 centimeters or 10 inches longer than the previous Quest, and it's also longer and wider than its main rivals, the Honda Odyssey and the Toyota Sienna. The interior is very spacious. There are seven seats, two buckets in the front, two in the middle, and a three-person bench at the back. The instrument panel is quite unique. The gauges and LCD display, which doubles as a navigation screen in some models, are located in the center. You know about the pillar looks a lot to me like the smokestack from the Queen Mary. For the first time ever in a minivan, the second and third row seats fold down flat. You do have to remove the head restraints first, but it's pretty simple. Watch this. I want to see this. Voila. That's cool. Now, the rear bench is a little more complicated, but once you remove it, there is enough room to slide in a 4x8 sheet of plywood. You know what, Dagmar? There's lots of leg room in this vehicle. If you want to get to the third row of seats, you can climb between these two seats, or you can do this. Give it a forward. Walk in, sit down, voila. The Quest has the biggest sliding doors in its class. The openings are absolutely huge. Power sliding doors are available as well as a power rear hatch. And for safety, dual front and side curtain airbags are standard. Top of the line Quests have these unique quad sunroofs as well as a rear overhead console with reading lamps, air vents, and optional dual DVD screens for your entertainment system. The rear head restraints will partially block your vision when you're changing lanes or backing up, but the optional backup warning sensors really do help out quite a bit when you're reversing into a parking space. I don't know, Dagmar. This thing isn't growing on me yet. I like it. Maybe you should drive it. You'll change your mind. All right, I'll see. The new Nissan Quest feels a lot smaller than it actually is. For such a big minivan, it really is quite maneuverable. You can throw it into corners and it feels quite stable. Remember, though, it does have a wide track and the wheelbase is long, which gives you comfortable cruising, especially on the highway. And remember, it's one of the only minivans with a fully independent suspension. Under the hood, you'll find Nissan's 3.5-liter V6. This churns out 240 horsepower. Funny, isn't that the same amount as the Honda Odyssey? That's a lot of power for a minivan, and cruising around the city on the highway, no problem. When you put your foot into the accelerator, you can really hear the growl from that V6 engine. And fuel consumption for city and highway driving, it's about average for a big V6 minivan. Well, Zach, this is the new Nissan Quest. How did you like it? Well, you know what? I love the interior functionality. The seats are really uh, great. The fold-down third row, of course, and it's comfortable in there. I love the quad sunroof. If you can afford that option, I'd go for it. In addition, the DVD player is great for the kids. It's easy to get in and out of. It's got a low step up, which would be great for kids and also maybe women with skirts. Not that I know anything about that, Dagmar. Right. <laughs> you can uh, see a lot from the front seats. They're very comfortable. It's very easy to handle, and the power is excellent at 240 horsepower. My dislikes, the footwell seems really quite small. I keep hitting something with my foot when I go for the brake. And this is not a minivan. It's really quite big. And my main dislike is the fact that the styling on the inside, a little too avant-garde for me, but that's a personal, and we'll get to my rating in just a minute. See, now, I love the styling on the new Nissan Quest. I think it's got a lot of sharp corners and angles that are blended and smoothed out with circles and ovals. It's very Art Deco. The interior, being a bit of a Trekkie fan, I love this interior. It works very well. It looks kind of like the uh, beam me up thing. In Engage, us. number <laughs> Engage. one. It's very, very well designed on the inside. Lots of room. The negatives, being a, a shorter person, I do have some trouble seeing out of the back. The second and third row headrest really do block your vision when you are backing up or parallel parking. You will have to depend heavily on your rear and side view mirrors. Also, not being built like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I do have difficulty folding down that last row of seats. So all in all, for me, this is a four out of a five. Now, just because I don't like the interior styling, that's very subjective. It's still a great vehicle. I'm going to give four out of a five. Dagmar, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that makes eight.